In this, as well as in other lessons, we are providing you with a script that contains the examples that we're working on. So I want to take just a moment right now to show you what steps you need to go through in order to load one of the R scripts from GitHub, which is the place where we have put the script. So there are actually two different ways to do this. There is the easy way, which basically involves going to the web page, clicking on the raw button, copying and pasting the text and pasting it in the R Studio editor window. So I will demonstrate that first. So if you click on the link at the top of the lesson page, it will send you to this page on GitHub, which is the R script for the lesson. Um, and what we are basically gonna do is copy it. However, rather than just copying, if you copy it straight from here, you can end up getting things that you don't want, like parts of the rest of the web page. If you want to get only the script itself, you can click on this raw button. And what the raw button does is basically has only the script itself. So if you do uh, control A or command A, you can highlight the whole thing, then do control or command C and copy the whole thing into your clipboard. So then if we return to our studio, we don't want to paste it into the interactive console because we're basically wanting to edit a script. So we have to go up to the file menu, select new file, R script. And what that will do is pop open a new pane in the upper left. And this is uh, basically a code editor window. So now if I do control V or um, command V, it will paste the script into the window and I can see here it is ready for me to use. The alternative way to load a script is a little more complicated and uh, time consuming, but I'm going to show it to you anyway because this is actually a very general way to load any kind of file that is found in GitHub. So if you understand how this works, you can use it to download and let download and then load any kind of content that is found on a GitHub page. So you go to the web page as before, but instead of left clicking on the raw button, you're going to right click on it and then save the file. Then you'll go into RStudio and open the file from within the RStudio interface. So using this method, again, you would click on the link to, that takes you to the script web page. But now instead of right uh, left clicking on the raw button you're going to right click on it and that's going to give you some options depending on your browser it might be slightly different on chrome the option is save link as um, it'll be something similar on other browsers and that should open up a dialog window asking me where do i want to put the file i'm going to go ahead and stash it in my downloads folder because that's an easy place to get it i'm going to let it call it the same name, but you could change the name if you wanted to. Um, now, if I go to the RStudio interface, instead of uh, opening the new window and pasting it in, I'm going to go to the file menu and select open file. Alternatively, I can click on this little open file icon here and it'll do the same thing. So I'll go to my downloads folder. Here is the script that I saved. And when I click open, it will automatically pop open the window. The main advantage of this is that it's already, it already knows that this file is on the computer and that it's called 011.r. So if I make edits to this file uh, and I want to save those edits, all I have to do is click on the save button. If I did the copy and paste method and I wanted to save my work, then I would have to go through a dialogue telling it what I wanted to call the file and uh, where I wanted to save it. So if basically if you're going to, if you're working on an existing file, you might as well download it and then you can um, well, work on it in multiple sessions and you don't have to worry about where to save it because you've already saved it during the download process. If you're just hacking something, then the cut and paste method is probably easier 